good morning all in our previous class we discussed about the superposition theorem today we are going to discuss about stevens theorem okay i'm sharing my ppt so hope this is visible to you so stevens theorem as i said me in my previous class in each and every theorem first we have to know which one we are going to find out second one on which kind of networks it is going to be applicable third one is the statement the first one this theorem is used to find the current through the particular branch in a network okay in a network we have a many number of branches out of that we are going to find out only current through a particular branch and it is applicable for linear and bilateral network it states that the, the total network can be replaced with a simple two terminal network having a voltage source in series with a resistance if we are considered for a dc excitation it is a resistance if we are considered for a ac excitation this is a impedance okay so resistance is for dc impedance is for ac other than that nothing will be changes in the ac as well as dc so vdh is the open circuit voltage across terminals of interest the term terminals of interest says in any problem in any problem we have to find the current across the one branch so that is the terminals of interest okay so r equivalent is the resistance across open circuit terminals of interest when all the sources are inactive inactive in the sense we have to replace all the sources with their internal resistances if it is a dc internal impedances if it is an ac so if internal impedances or resistances are not given in the network so all the independent voltage sources are replaced with the short circuit all the independent current sources are replaced with a open circuit okay so this is an example i consider to solve the thevenin theorem so they given that they find the current to the resistor r to 2 ohm resistor so our objective is to find the current through this 2 ohm resistor for a given network okay using thevenin theorem so we have to find out the vth and r equivalent and il okay so we i made this as a three different steps in first step one we are going to find out the vth in step 2 we are going to find the r equivalent in step 3 we are going to find out the il so in step 1 so first how we are going to find out the vth so our objective is to find out the voltage across these two terminals means this is our load if i consider this as a load means r2 is my load so i just want to find out the voltage across these two terminals a and b so first remove the branch which we want to find out the current so we want to find the current across a and b so i i remove that one and apply network principles either kcl or kvl to find the voltage across these two terminals okay so i am applying it is a single loop in that loop only single current is flowing so the current i is defined as shown like this okay so voltage across ab by tracing the path from a to b so a and this point and then r2 is the resistance next in r2 the current flowing through is 4.2 amperes and the plus to minus is my voltage that is 7 volts and b so this is the path for a to b so voltage across a to b is 7 volts plus the current into the resistance the current is 4.2 and the resistance is 1 ohm so vab we are getting as a 11.2 volts in step 2 so r equivalent what we said that the r equivalent is the open equivalent resistance across equivalent resistance across the open circuit terminals of interest so the same one remove the branch which we want to find out the current so i remove the branch which we want to find out the current okay then make all the sources are inactive inactive in the sense all the sources are replaced with their internal impedances or resistances if internal resistances are not known all the voltage sources are replaced with the short circuit all the current sources are replaced with the open circuit so in our problem we have two current voltage sources so v1 and v2 so i am replacing these two voltage sources with short circuit so that the equivalent resistance across a and b so if i trace the path from a to b so we have a two different paths so that these two resistances are in parallel so 1 ohm and the 4 ohm are in parallel by applying the parallel R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 that is 1 into 4 by 1 plus 4 we get the resistance value as 0.8 ohm. So we find out the VTH and R equivalent that is Thevenin equivalent circuit. So VTH and RTH are R equivalent. We can call that as a VTH 
R equivalent or RTH. Okay. So this is the Thevenin equivalent circuit. This is your Thevenin voltage. This is your Thevenin resistance. So replacing the replacing the branch which we want to find out the current means that is the two ohm. Our objective is to find out the current through this two ohm resistance. So I am replacing across the Thevenin equivalent circuit with the two ohm resistance so that we get the formula as VTH by RTH plus R2. That is I am substituting the value of VTH and RTH and R2. We get the load current as 4 amperes. Okay. So I am considering an, another example that is regularly asking me. This is be the problem which regularly asking in examinations. Okay. So this is a B stone bridge. In this case, our objective is to find out the load current or as voltage drop across RL. So our objective is to find out the voltage drop across A and B. So first, how we are going to find out means in in general, find, kindly check before going to do the problem whether the bridge is balanced or not. Means A B into B C A D minus A D minus B C. You just check if the A D minus B C is equal to zero means bridge is balanced. So that there is no current flowing through this A and B. If unbalanced only, we are going to solve this kind of problem. Okay, so I'm concerned this is not this is not a balanced one because three into four is twelve, six into six is thirty six. So a D minus B C is not equal to zero. So we are going to solve this problem with respect to Thevenin theorem. So to find V T H, first remove the branch which we want to find out the current. So I I remove the the two ohm this remove the two ohm resistor. So V A B. Okay. So this is the terminal. I am naming the terminal as A and B. So 30 volts in parallel voltage must be same. The 30 volts is apply 30 volts is applicable in these two branches. So I'm applying the current division rule that is V A equals to minus 30 because this is as a minus this polarity as a positive. So minus 30 into 6 into if I want to find out this voltage means same resistance into uh, another resistance divided by sum of resistances. So minus 30 into 6 into sorry 30 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 I get minus 20. Similarly V B equals to so in this V B equals to means in this terminal okay, minus 30 the same because in parallel voltage same minus 30 into 4 ohm for my 4 ohm into 4 ohm divided by 4 ohm plus 6 ohm so i am tracing the path from here to here so that i get the voltage as a v a s minus 20 and v b s minus 12 so v a b will be v a minus v b minus 20 minus of minus 12 so plus it will come as a minus 8 volts so this, in step one, we just find out the VTH value as minus eight volts. In step two, R equivalent. So in R equivalent, we have to remove the branch which we want to find out the current. So I we removed and make all the sources are inactive. So I made the short circuit across the V stone bridge so that the network will comes like this. So I'm these two are in parallel and these two are in parallel. Both will become as a series. These two parallel combination I'm terming it as a RTA. These two parallel combination and terming terming as a RTB. Okay, so RTA three into six by three plus six and four into six by four plus six. We get three into six by three plus six as a two and four into six by four plus six as two point four. Finally, we got R equivalent as four point four ohm. So we find out the VTH and as well as the R equivalent. And our final step is to find out the current flow. Sorry. The current flowing through the load resistance. So this is our Thevenin equivalent circuit, VTH and the RTH. VTH is minus eight volts. So I'm placing minus as a minus in the top place and the negative in the bottom place. Okay, RTH is a 4.4 ohm, and I'm placing RL, replacing the inter in between the terminals A and B as with a two ohm resistance. So by applying the Thevenin theorem, IL equals to VTH by R equivalent plus RL. So substituting those values, we get IL as a 1.225 amperes. Thank you for your patience, guys. Okay, hope you understood the Thevenin theorem. The same can be applicable for the AC kind of networks also. Okay, so for any kind of the doubts, kindly comment in comment box. Be safe, stay home. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day.